Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how I created this card in Scan & Cut Canvas. I used a butterfly that's already in the Canvas projects and I used it to punch out the shape that you see on the bottom right hand corner of this card and then I also cut it separately in a different colour cardstock to layer it up onto the front of the card. I hope you like it and I'm now going to pop over to Scan & Cut Canvas to show you how I made it. Hi. Okay, so I'm in Scan & Cut Canvas. The first thing I'm going to do is go and find the butterfly design. So I'm going to come up here to the filter icon and I'm going to select that. And in the box I'm going to type butterfly and I'm going to just leave it as it is under categories and say OK. The design that I'm looking for is this one here that's been used on the t-shirt. So I'm going to select that and then it's going to show me um, a picture of the project. It's giving me the PDF, which is what they call the recipe. I would use that if I wanted to create this project as it is. And then it's showing me the actual cutting file here. And this is the part that I want. I don't need any of this because I'm not going to follow this tutorial. So I'm going to left click on this box on the left, which says import parts. And that's just going to bring all the designs, or in this case, the one design, onto my mat. So the first thing I'm going to do is shrink it down. I'm going to make it just under two inches high. It's not vital, but I wouldn't make it too small because I'll just zoom in on it. Some of these little circles here are very small. So I wouldn't go too small with it. Um, two inches is probably about the smallest I would want to go, I would think. So I'm just going to put that on one side for a minute. I'm going to put this onto a base card, which is a five by five card. So I'm going to come to the basic shapes. I'm going to choose this rectangle. I'm going to come to the properties box. I'm going to untick the maintain aspect ratio. I'm going to type 5 in the first box and 10 in the next box and that will give me a rectangle that's 10 inches wide by 5 inches high and when this is folded in half it will give me a 5 by 5 card. Now I want to punch this first butterfly out of the front of the card but I don't want all this outside line of the butterfly. So. I'm going to select it, right click and make a duplicate and the duplicate I'm just going to leave on one side. This one I'm going to position just somewhere in the bottom right hand corner and I'm going to select this rotate handle and I'm just going to rotate it. Now I've positioned it on top of the rectangle but the rectangle has come to the top so with the rectangle selected I'm going to right click and send it to back and then when I click on the butterfly it should bring the butterfly to the front. There you go, butterfly, butterfly is on the front now and I'm just going to slightly angle it. So that's where I want to position the butterfly but if I cut this out now it will cut all the outside edge out and all the pieces and I'll just be left with a big hole in the front of my card. So. I'm going to right click and hit duplicate. Then I'm going to select a square. Doesn't matter what size the square is, so long as it's bigger than the design you're using. Now again, the square's on top, so I'm going to right click and center back. When I click on the butterfly, the butterfly highlights, so I know that the butterfly is now on top of this square. So I'm going to select both, I'm going to come to edit and I'm going to choose the second icon which is divide. Wait for the software to work, I'm going to drag the box out of the way because I don't need that. Then I'm going to click on this butterfly until I get a bounding box all around the edge. You may have to click in a couple of places like I've clicked here and it's just selected one part. So I'm coming to another part and I'm just going to keep clicking until I get a big blue dash bounding box round all of it and once I've got that 
just going to undo that again because I've got the wrong bit. I'm going to dr I'm going to drag it away. Okay. Now, these bits that are left behind are the bits that we want, the bits that are all individual sections. So this one I'm going to delete. This one I'm going to delete. I'm going to drag a box around all these little bits and right click and hit group. And they're the bits that I actually want to position on the card around about here. So I was just using this as just a visual guide. Now I can select it and hit delete. So I'm going to bring the butterfly up and I'm going to position it roughly where I want it. While it's selected, I'm going to hold the shift key down and select the rectangle. And with them both selected, I'm going to come to edit. And this time I'm going to choose the last icon on the bottom here, which is subtract. Now that's punched all those bits of the butterfly out of this rectangle. Now if you do that and, and everything disappears, it means that the rectangle was on top of your butterfly. So you basically just have to reorder as I've just shown you in the previous steps. So you would right click on this rectangle, send it to back and then click on the butterfly until the butterfly is selected and then you know it's on top. And then you'd select everything and do edit subtract. So if I fill this with a blue colour now just to show you, you'll see that all the card is all filled in with colour. So that would effectively be your piece of base card. And all these white sections here, as you can see, are the map behind. Like if I put that over the black butterfly there, you can see you can see through it. So it's punched these shapes out of this base card. Now I'm just going to remove the fill just to make it easier to see. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come to the path icon, which is here, and left click to select it. I'm going to left click once at the top of the card, hold the shift key down, which drags out a completely straight line. And when I get to the bottom, I'm going to double click to anchor it. While it's selected, I'm going to come to the properties box. I'm going to make it a cut line and choose dash. And that's going to make that a dash line, which is my fold line. Now I'm going to select both of those and just go to edit center and edit middle so the dash line goes right in the middle of the card and while everything's selected and centered I'm going to right click and hit group so that's the base card and then this is the butterfly that I would cut separately which I showed you was cut in the purple card on the example I showed you at the beginning of the video I would give the project a name up here now because it's giving it the generic name for the butterfly that you've that that we went and installed before we started so i would highlight all that and just give that a name now so i'll just call it butterfly card video because i know it's the card i'm making for the video then i would hit save which is this box here and once it's saved i would say okay and then there are several ways to download it. You can, first of all, download, and if you've got Wi-Fi, you can use the box on the right, which is Scan and Cut Transfer. And by selecting that, and then saying Close, when this box comes up, that's now transferred that file over to my Scan and Cut. And the next time I go and put the Scan and Cut on, I wait for the blue Wi-Fi bars, to turn a solid blue and this file will be there on my scan and cut screen waiting for me to use and save if I want to into the machine as well. The other way to save a file is to hit the download button and then left click on this first icon. By doing that on my Mac that automatically drops into my download folder and on Windows, I believe it does the same. So I can close that down now and close that. And in my downloads folder, which you can't see, I will have, if I can bring it on and show you, this FCM cutting file. The other way is to, again, click download. And this time, 
hover over this first icon and right click. Now I use a Mac so I get the words download link file as. You may get save linked file as but it's the, the, this is the one you want to look for, the one that says file as, download or save linked file as. And once you then select that, your desktop or your computer saving options will show up. So on a Mac, I would go to desktop and it says here on my desktop, it's, it shows you the name of the file and I would hit save and put that on my desktop. I believe that's the same as on Windows. If I had a USB stick plugged in to my computer already, it would show up here under devices. I would be able to select that and then in here it would show the device name and I could save it directly onto a USB stick. So there are several ways to save your files once you've got them within Canvas to then put them onto your scan and cut machine and to be able to use them. So I'm not going to save that because I've already sent it over wirelessly. But I hope you found the video helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you don't already do so. Make sure you've got the bell notification icon turned on and that way you'll get notified when I upload a video or when I'm doing any live streams. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.